Scripture says in John 14, verses 1 through 2, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse number 20. Believe the Lord your God, you'll be established. Believe his prophets, you'll prosper, right? So that's why Jesus could say it. He said this as a prophet. Believe in me also. See that? Why would he need to connect that? Yes, he's the son of God. The Lord spoke in the previous times, the ancient times, the Old Testament times, by the prophets. But in these last days, all the prophetic ministry is now locked up in the fulfillment, the Son, right? So Jesus is therefore the ultimate prophet. So that's how I can say he's saying it as a prophet. You know, believe also in me. Now, what is it that we can prosper in from believing Jesus here? In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Okay, so he's promising to prepare a supernatural dwelling place for the people of God by this scripture. But first he references Father's house, many mansions. It means that in the Father's dimension, there are very many sectors, very many rooms, very many sections, places, chambers, hallways. There are realms within realms. In the Father's house, there are many mansions. He uses the word that translates to mansion for the sake of our human limitation. In the home of the Father remains many abodes, many habitations. So the Greek rendering has it that there are many habitations in the Father's house. So just contemplate this with your own house, or your own apartment, or your own place to live, or your apartment complex. Different places host different people. Different places are hosting different atmospheres. Is that correct? In the Father's house, there are many abodes, many mansions. Mansions are created and prepared dimensions of God the Father. They exist within the place called in the spirit. See that? So those who worship God must come to him in spirit. So that dimension of the spirit is where God desires for you to come to him through. So it's not just songs of worship. It's come to God in spirit. Amen.